Hey, welcome to a new video. In the vast history of the Earth, nature has produced a fascinating array of colossal creatures that would have towered over today's buildings. They came face to face with skyscrapers from ancient times to the modern era. These giants roamed the land, soared through the skies, and traversed the depths of the seas. Today, we'll show you the 15 largest animals of all time. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Number 15. The Whale Shark holds the title of the largest known species of fish in the world. This gentle giant can reach an astonishing length of almost 62 feet or 19 meters, making it larger than many other marine creatures, including the previously mentioned Basilosaurus and Mosasaurus. The body of the whale shark is characterized by its enormous size and distinctive markings. Its skin is adorned with a beautiful pattern of pale yellow spots and stripes, unique to each individual. Despite its massive size, the whale shark is not a predator. Instead, it's a friendly filter feeder, sustaining itself by consuming vast quantities of small plankton and tiny fish that it filters from the water using specialized filter pads in its large mouth. Whale sharks are found in warm tropical and subtropical waters around the world. They're known for inhabiting open ocean and coastal areas where they undertake seasonal migrations to areas with abundant food sources. The lifespan of a whale shark is estimated to be between 80 and 130 years. Number 14, the sperm whale is a toothed whale known for its colossal size, reaching lengths of up to 66 feet or 20 meters. This makes it one of the largest toothed whales and also one of the largest predators on Earth. Its most prominent feature is its enormous head, which can measure up to a third of its total body length. Within this large head lies the largest brain of any mammal, weighing approximately seven kilograms. With its stocky build and wrinkled, dark gray or brown skin, the sperm whale has a distinctive and recognizable appearance. Its lower jaws are narrow and long, housing a set of formidable teeth ranging from 20 to 26 in number. Sperm whales are also known for their exceptional diving abilities. They're capable of descending to astonishing depths of over 6,560 feet or 2,000 meters, and their primary prey at such depths are giant squids. These deep dives can last up to 90 minutes, making the sperm whale one of the deepest diving mammals. They use an advanced form of echolocation to navigate and locate their prey in the dark depths of the ocean. Additionally, they emit powerful clicks that can travel vast distances and bounce off objects. If you're close enough, these clicks can stun or even kill you. Number 13. In the ancient depths of the ocean that traversed the Earth during the Triassic period, a remarkable creature called the Shastasaurus thrived. Shastasaurus, a member of the ichthyosaur family, was a true giant of the oceans, reaching lengths of up to 69 feet or 21 meters, rivaling the size of some modern whales. This ancient marine reptile had long and slender fins resembling the wings of a bird, which provided agility and aided in propulsion through the water. It also possessed a formidable set of jaws with sharp teeth. Like other ichthyosaurs, Shastasaurus had large eyes, indicating its reliance on vision for hunting and navigation in the depths. Its eyes were likely well adapted to low light conditions, enabling it to thrive in the murky depths of the ocean. This sea monster lived during the Triassic period, approximately 240 to 210 million years ago. This period marked a time of significant evolutionary diversification, and Shastasaurus belonged to the dominant predators of the seas during that time. Number 12. The Brontosaurus is a herbivorous sauropod dinosaur, estimated to measure lengths of up to 75 feet or 23 meters from head to tail. In addition to its extraordinary length, it stood at an impressive height. While estimates vary, it's believed that this dinosaur was approximately 15 feet or 4.5 meters tall, making it a true heavyweight in the world of dinosaurs. It's estimated to have weighed up to 15 tons, and like many other sauropod dinosaurs, 
the Brontosaurus was a herbivore. Its diet primarily consisted of plants such as ferns and conifers, which were abundant during the Jurassic period. To sustain its enormous body, it required a substantial amount of vegetation daily. Fortunately, its diet did not include meat. One of the most striking features of this creature was its long neck and tail. Its neck, which could reach lengths of up to 30 feet or 9 meters, allowed it to feed on vegetation from treetops and reach food sources inaccessible to other dinosaurs. The Brontosaurus inhabited the ancient environments of the Morrison Formation, a geological formation that spans parts of present-day North America during the late Jurassic period. Number 11. You know you're a giant when you tower over other dinosaurs. Brachiosaurus was a majestic dinosaur that roamed the Earth during the late Jurassic period, and it was a true giant among prehistoric creatures. It was estimated that this creature could reach lengths of up to 72 feet or 22 meters from head to tail. In addition to its remarkable length, it stood at an imposing height, believed to have reached heights of about 43 feet or 13 meters, or even more. Brachiosaurus was an absolute heavyweight, estimated to weigh between 30 to 40 tons. It was a herbivore and primarily lived on plants. Brachiosaurus possessed a unique anatomical feature. Its front legs were longer than its hind legs, giving it a somewhat giraffe-like appearance. This feature allowed it to graze at greater heights than other dinosaurs of its time. A distinctive feature of Brachiosaurus was the presence of a nasal crest adorning the top of its head. It's believed that this crest may have played a role in vocalization or as a display feature to attract mates or establish dominance. Brachiosaurus also had nostrils on top of its head, enabling it to breathe while partially submerged in water or while feeding on vegetation. Number 10. Diplodocus, a member of the sauropod family, is an iconic dinosaur known for its remarkable size and distinctive long neck. This herbivorous dinosaur roamed the Earth during the late Jurassic period and is estimated to have reached lengths of up to 109 feet or 33 meters. Its most recognizable feature is its incredibly long neck, which comprised approximately half of its body length. It possessed a long, whip-like tail that could have been used as a defensive weapon against predators. The end of its tail was equipped with a series of bony structures. These bony plates could have formed a formidable weapon, allowing it to deliver powerful tail strikes to deter or fend off predators. This creature inhabited the ancient landscapes of what is now North America during a time when the area was characterized by lush forests, river systems, and diverse ecosystems. Fossil evidence suggests that Diplodocus lived in herds or groups. It had an estimated weight of about 11 to 18 tons, roughly equivalent to the weight of two to three African elephants. Despite its immense size, it was likely a relatively fast runner capable of moving at speeds of about 6 to 10 miles per hour or 10 to 15 come off. Number 9. We're just saying that if dinosaurs were to return, we'd want to take refuge behind a blue whale for protection. With a length of 109 feet or 33 meters, this marine creature seems capable of handling anything. An interesting fact is that the blue whale can spout water from its blowhole up to 30 feet or 9 meters in the air. They are filter feeders and consume massive quantities of tiny, shrimp-like creatures called krill. They can consume up to four tons of krill in a single day. Blue whales rely on their baleen plates to capture the krill as they expel water from their enormous mouths. You might not believe it, but newborn blue whales can be about 23 to 26 feet or 7 to 8 meters long and weigh around 3 tons. Blue whales are known for their distinctive vocalizations, often referred to as songs. These songs can travel long distances through the water and play a role in communication, reproduction, and possibly locating food sources. Another interesting fact is that the heart of a blue whale weighs about as much as a small car, approximately 600 kilograms. Number eight, Sauroposidon is an extinct genus of sauropod dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous approximately 112 to 105 million years ago. 
It's known for its immense size, with estimates suggesting lengths of about 111 feet or 34 meters. Our knowledge of this dinosaur is based on fragmentary remains, making it challenging to determine the exact size and characteristics. The fossil remains mainly consist of vertebrae, including neck vertebrae, which only tell us that the creature was enormous. This creature, with its 56-ton or 17-meter neck, is considered one of the tallest dinosaurs known to date, making it a towering giant among dinosaurs. One of its most striking features is its long neck, as its neck vertebrae are among the longest of any known dinosaur. It lived in what is now North America during the late Cretaceous. Fossil remains have been found in Oklahoma, specifically in the Antlers Formation. Fortunately, it was a herbivore, otherwise many other dinosaurs would have gone extinct much sooner. Number 7. Supersaurus is a genus of sauropod dinosaur that lived during the late Jurassic, approximately 155 to 145 million years ago. It's considered one of the largest dinosaurs ever discovered, with an estimated length of about 111 feet or 34 meters. This dinosaur lived in what is now North America during the late Jurassic period, and fossil remains have been found in states such as Colorado, Wyoming, and Utah. It had a long, whip-like tail that may have been used for defense, so it could literally have pushed you out of existence. It's also believed to have pencil-like teeth that were constantly replaced throughout its life, allowing it to continuously feed on vegetation. Despite its enormous size, it was likely capable of walking bipedally, using its hind legs for faster movement when needed. Number 6. The lion's mane jellyfish is one of the largest species of jellyfish in the world, with its tentacles capable of reaching remarkable lengths. Its tentacles have been measured at an astonishing 120 feet or 36.5 meters long, which is longer than a blue whale, currently the largest animal on Earth. These tentacles are equipped with stinging cells called nematocysts, which the jellyfish uses to capture prey and defend itself. These jellyfish are found in the cold waters of the Northern Atlantic and Northern Pacific Oceans. If you're swimming in the ocean, you should definitely be cautious because their sting can cause painful welts and skin irritation. Interestingly, some species of this jellyfish are bioluminescent, meaning they can produce their own light. This bioluminescence is often seen as a glow or shimmering effect in the water. Believe it or not, the presence or absence of this specific jellyfish can indicate the health of an ecosystem. Their abundance can be affected by factors such as pollution, overfishing and climate change. Number 5. Argentinosaurus is a genus of sauropod dinosaurs that lived during the late Cretaceous, approximately 97 to 94 million years ago. It's estimated that they reached lengths of about 131 feet or 40 meters and weighed around 80 to 100 tons, making it one of the heaviest land animals known. Like other sauropods, Argentinosaurus was a herbivore and it's believed to have walked on all four legs. The immense size and weight of the dinosaur would have made it impractical to walk on two legs. The first fossils attributed to this creature were discovered in 1987 by a farmer on his land in Argentina. These fossils were initially mistaken for petrified wood until they were reclassified in 1993 as belonging to a new sauropod species. According to scientists, a young Argentinosaurus would have taken about 15 years to reach adulthood. During this time, they would have been vulnerable to other predators of this era including the Gigantosaurus. Number 4. Although not a single organism, Siphonophores are colonial organisms consisting of specialized individuals called zooids. They're unique animals because they consist of many individual zooids connected and working together as a single organism. Each zooid is specialized for a specific task, such as feeding, reproduction, or defense. Siphonophores can vary in size, with some species being only a few centimetres long, while others can reach quite impressive lengths. The largest known species could reach up to 151 feet or 46 metres in length, making them one of the longest animals on Earth. 
they typically have a long, slender and transparent body divided into separate regions. These regions include a gas-filled float called a pneumatophore at the top, followed by a series of specialized zooids forming the feeding and reproductive structures. They have long, trailing tentacles extending from their bodies. These tentacles are equipped with specialized stinging cells called nematocysts, which they use to capture and immobilize prey. Number three, the Portuguese man of war is found in warmer seas and is often mistaken for a jellyfish, but it's actually a siphonophore. The creature has a gas-filled float called a pneumatophore, which can reach heights of up to 6 inches or 15 centimetres. Its long trailing tentacles can grow up to 165 feet or 50 metres long, making it the longest marine creature ever observed. This animal has a distinctive appearance, with its float above the water's surface and its long venomous tentacles hanging beneath. It is usually blue or purple in colour, while the tentacles can be transparent or pink. They are lined with specialized stinging cells that release a potent venom used to immobilize prey and deter predators. Individual reactions to the sting can vary, with some people experiencing more severe symptoms than others. In rare cases, individuals may have an allergic reaction to the venom, which can lead to more serious symptoms such as chest tightness, difficulty breathing, abdominal cramps, and nausea. It's worth noting that even dead specimens washed ashore can deliver a sting. What makes them even more fascinating is that they are carnivorous, feeding on small prey such as fish larvae, crustaceans and other small invertebrates. Additionally, they use their long tentacles to ensnare and paralyze their prey before ingesting it. Number two, the bootlace worm is known as one of the longest animals on earth, reaching lengths of up to 180 feet or 55 metres. Although most individuals are around 33 feet or 10 metres long, this worm has a long, slender body that resembles a thin piece of rope or lace, hence its name. It's typically brown or reddish-brown in colour and lacks distinct body segments. They're found in various marine environments, including shallow coastal waters and sandy or muddy sea bottoms. Additionally, they can be found in various locations from the Atlantic Ocean to the North Sea and the Mediterranean Sea. What's eerie about this worm is that it's a carnivorous predator. They use the long muscular structure on their head, which is a feeding organ, to capture and paralyze their prey. These worms primarily feed on small invertebrates such as crustaceans and other types of worms. The bootlace worm also has impressive regenerative abilities. If a part of its body is damaged or severed, it can regenerate and grow a new section, allowing it to recover from injuries. An interesting fact is that these animals have existed for a very long time. Fossil evidence suggests that they have been around for at least 500 million years, making them one of the oldest known animal groups. Number one, Anoas are an extinct genus of sauropod dinosaurs known for its remarkable size. While estimates vary, it's believed to have reached an astonishing length of about 197 feet or 60 meters, making it the largest creature ever to have lived. The name Achilleus is derived from Greek words meaning biconcave, referring to the unique shape of its vertebrae. These vertebrae had hollow surfaces at both ends, giving them a distinctive appearance. This creature is only known from a few fragmentary fossils, primarily consisting of some vertebrae. These fossils were discovered in Colorado, United States in the late 19th century by the paleontologist Edward Drinker Cope. He attributed the immense size to the enormous dimensions of the discovered vertebrae. Unfortunately, these fossils have been lost or destroyed, leaving only Cope's original descriptions and drawings. Can you imagine encountering this legendary, nearly forgotten giant face to face? What's the largest animal you've ever seen in person? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.